Okay, welcome to Back to the Rise of the Beast. This is uh, part seven here. And uh, I mentioned a fellow earlier named Baba Jane, and I'm going to read an article by him. Uh, this is called The United Nations Plan to Build a Global Religion. The state of your world has been reduced by the immorality. The state of your world is capitulating now to an all to all of the forces of the octopus that will seek to bring about a one-world religion and a one-world government under a supreme dictator of evil uh, from Our Lady of the Roses, March 18, 1978. This is a, from a Catholic person. <laughs> anyway, Insight Magazine report on October 2, 2000. Baba Jane, Secretary, Secretary General of the Millennium Peace Summit, says he thinks all religions and spiritualists, as well as a sort of witch doctors, are you hearing this? Shamans, medicine men, draw their wisdom from the same source. But he applauds efforts to outlaw proselytizing, since it matters little whether one worships a down World War II airplane with a cargo cult, is a snake handling Baptist or a Roman Catholic. You know, where has our world gone as far as religion, as far as truth, you know? I mean, I remember reading books on Azusa Street and, you know, the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit, you know, the Holy Ghost and fire and people on fire and getting hold of God. But, you know, men have wandered so far away. It's incredible. That view has been met with strict opposition from the Vatican and mainline Protestants who oppose the notion that all religions are equal. As host of the UN's Millennium Peace Summit of Religious and Spiritual Leaders, Jane told an international meeting of 1,000 delegates that religions need to accept the validity of all beliefs to attain world peace. Calling for come together. The summit, the, f the first of its kind to be sponsored by the United Nations, but of course, praise God. <clears throat> Yeah, this is what we're seeing. Was held in New York City August 28 to 31st, just before the political leaders gathered for the UN Millennium Assembly. Uh, the timing was perfect, says Jane, as it allows religious leaders to update their political counterparts on how to usher in the peace of the New World Order through religious universalism. Amen. So basically, you know, unite, uniting all religions, doesn't matter who you are. Praise God, but this is what this conference is all about. Let's put all our little disagreements away and let's all be one and work for world peace. See, it's all a guise. It's, just, it's disguised by Satan to bring all together. One thing we know, the true church will not go for this. Praise God. Praise God, because we are not one. You know. And the Spirit of the Lord separates us and, told, and tells us to be separated from the world. Praise God. And there's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Ephesians 4, verse 5. Cannot be any clearer than that. According to Francis Cardinal Arendt, president for interreligious dialogue at the Vatican and a speaker at the summit, the Catholic Church also would favor one religion in the world if it were Roman Catholicism. Uh, is this a ploy? Already set in motion by the United Nations, the President Obama, the Queen. You know, is this just a ploy? I'm starting to, I'm kind of seeing this, but. Okay. I saw the Grand Muftis and other true believers hold the same view. Again, so long as it is their faith that is universally recognized. That each is out to convert the world is to be expected. So the proposed ban on proselytizing is surprising. So what is the objective here? Is it religious tolerance, unification of, or subversion of religious faith? Jane tells Insight that he looks forward to a day when religious people no longer insist on a single truth. Ooh, what a day that is. But this is all prophesied to come. And the URI, in which Jane is active and which was one of the partners for the summit, takes it even further. URI President Swing says, 
There will have to be a godly ceasefire, a tempering truce, where the absolute exclusive claims of each religion will be honored, but an agreed-upon neutrality will be exercised in terms of proselytizing, condemning, murdering, or dominating. Wow. But the, U but, United, but the United Nations can push its agenda to dominate, murder, condemn, proselytize? Hmm. These will not be tolerated in the United Region Zone. Okay. The leaders of your country and the rulers of your world are faster and faster plunging toward bringing in the reign of the evil one who, whom you will know as the Antichrist of one world. The plan for his rule has been set for many years. Our Lady of Roses. August 14, 1974. So here it is. You know, It's all coming together. Praise God. It's like the Bible says. And uh, merging of uh, all the faiths. Doesn't matter who you are. The witches, the shamans, you know, uh, all. This is the UN sucking everybody right in under a real peace. And, you know, praise God. But this is how the, the enemy schemes, you know, and does these things. So, uh, with that said, you know, I'm going to uh, take a break for now. But uh, I want to come back and uh, get into Revelation chapter 17, uh, Mystery Babylon, the great whore, great harlot, praise God, which uh, needs to be examined, but it's def defined definitely the, the whore that sits on seven hills, which is the Roman Catholic Church, praise God, but anyway, I'm Jay Sperry, and uh, we'll see you soon, God bless.